In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for FeCl3 plus K3PO4. This is iron 3 chloride plus potassium phosphate. So the first thing we do with net ionic equations is we balance the molecular equation. And this is the molecular equation here. I can see that I have three of these potassium atoms here and just one here. So I'm going to put a three in front of the KCl. That balances the potassium atoms. Now I have three chlorine atoms. I have three here. I have a PO4 here and here and have an iron iron. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Next, we write the state for each substance. If you know your solubility rules, chlorides are very soluble. And phosphates in general are insoluble unless they're bonded to something in group one like potassium or sodium. So this phosphate, potassium phosphate, that's going to be aqueous. It's soluble dissociates into its ions. But iron 3 phosphate, iron's a transition metal here, this is going to be insoluble. That means when these two react, we get this insoluble compound, so it'll be a solid. It'll just fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So this is our precipitate here in this reaction. We said chlorides are very soluble, as are compounds with potassium. So we have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. Iron's a transition metal, so if we look to the chlorine here, this chloride ion, each one will be one minus. So we have three, this has to be three plus. So we'll have our iron three ion, Fe three plus, and I'll write the states later. Plus, we have three of these chloride ions, at Cl minus. For potassium, that's in group one, that'll be one plus each one of them in the whole phosphate three minus. So we have three potassium ions and we have our phosphate ion here. These are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we don't split solids apart in net ionic equations. This FePO4, this is a precipitate, it's the solid, so we're going to keep that together as FePO4 and then for potassium group one, so one plus chloride, one minus three potassium ions, just like the reactants, and three chloride ions, also just like the reactants. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. So when I look at the reactants here and the products, I can see in the reactants there are three chloride ions and in the products, these are spectator ions. We're gonna cross those out, three potassium ions, and again, we have three potassium ions in the products, spectator ions, cross them out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for FeCl3 plus K3PO4. I'll clean this up, write the states, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for iron 3 chloride plus potassium phosphate. You note the atoms, they're balanced and charge is balanced as well. We have 3 plus, 3 minus, that adds up to zero. Over here, neutral compound, net charge of zero. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for FeCl3 plus K3PO4. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.